So I'm going to open up my Excel file here, this Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Power BI Data. And you should get a spreadsheet that looks like this, okay? Now, there's many ways that you can bring in data to Power BI, but it is best from a um, demonstration perspective to just work with Excel. And to be honest, you might actually find that you work, work with your data in Excel more often than not. It's a great actual you know, quasi database um, when working inside of Power BI, but obviously not restricted. You can, you, in Power BI, you can bring in data from many different sources all at the same time, including Excel. Okay, but in this particular case, we're gonna work with Excel. Now, the way to think about uh, the data that we're working with here, it, or the data scenario, is that we are dealing with a, an, organ, just think, an organization which sells something, okay? <clears throat> and they're currently, currently based on the west coast of the US. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got some um, sales information. So every single transaction that has gone on in this business, we've got some 2018 sales, and there's quite a few. So if you go down here, we've got about 4,000, almost 5,000. Then we've got some 2019 sales, which are in another uh, worksheet. They could be in another workbook, but in this particular case, I've tried to simplify it where, where necessary. And so I've got them in a different worksheet. And then I've got some 2020 sales, which are not as many um, because we haven't, it, you know, it, it, in this particular example, we're only going up to a certain point in a year, okay? <clears throat> and you'll see here that you might recognize here that there isn't actually that much information in these particular tables, right? It's, it's all sort of indexed to, um, you know, specific codes that are relevant to the business. And the, you know, the, the information seems limited. But that is how you you generally if you can you want to structure these main sort of transactional tables or or what are termed fact tables we'll go we'll go into that a little bit more later on but this is where the, these are sort of the main tables where you're going to have some sort of numeric information that you're going to want to quantify and you want to go want to analyze and so you know we've got some information here like quantity and price and from that you can generate obviously sales or revenue etc so these are going to be sort of our main tables, our fact, what we term ta fact tables. <laughs> then what we've got here is we've got tables that are essentially going to be good filters for that information. Okay, and these are termed lookup tables, which again, we'll cover a little bit more when we talk about the data model, which is a very important part of developing inside of Power BI. But you'll see here that the information is a bit more summarized. We, so instead of referencing a product, say, every single time, we're just referencing a product once, okay? And so we've got a table up here with every listed every single product and every single index here. And you'll recognize that this index is similar to what this index is here. So there's a relationship there, okay? And when we when we create our data model, that's what we'll be creating a relationship between those two do those two particular columns. Okay? So we've got a bit more information here around products. We've also got a bit more information here around locations. So you'll see here that most it's all based in California. And that's what our data set is made of. So this customer is based in California in the US, selling to it through a range of different stores all throughout the, all throughout the, um, or a range of different locations all around, all, all throughout the state. Okay. Then we've got a list of all of our customers here. Okay. So a big, a big list of customers that we've sold to. And again, we've got an ID system, <clears throat> an ID column here. So that links up again to our, uh, our um, sales tables. And we've also got some salespeople here. Okay, so we've got we've got basically here a scenario where we've got you know we're selling uh, to through a range of different locations, um, a range of different products to a range of different customers, and a range of different salespeople uh, making those sales. Okay, so that's the way to think of it, and that's the way to sort of you know. And I would always recommend this: try and visualize that in your mind before you get going, because it helps. Uh, immeasurably when you're creating or you're querying your data, you know, you're making sure you're querying the right tables. You're also transforming your data into a optimized shape to then um, build relationships between your tables. Okay. And so all of this, all of these, all of these sort of concepts, there's no, there's no right or wrong answer, but they're all very important to, to sort of just have an understanding of because you might be working with different scenarios in, in your models and you'll have to, 
have sort of an intuition around how you want to go about sort of setting things up okay and obviously you know i'm just going over the scenario here there's a lot more that we can cover around some best practice um, thinking and also implementation around how to do this effectively uh, inside your own, own reports and so we'll certainly try and cover it as much as as practical on those sort of things so you've got a really good head start around um, development and different different um, scenarios that you might be dealing with but this is a really good one for sort of a, a beginner's guide course and so i think you know without going into too much more detail here we'll learn a bit more as we as we work through it we can just jump in and start utilizing some of the some of the really key aspects of uh, of of power bi okay let's do it